Hey, what's up? It's Matt in Japan, and welcome back to my channel. A very Merry Christmas to everyone. Happy holiday season. Look what I found under the old Christmas tree this morning. This is Holiday Optimus Prime. Let's take a quick look at the packaging. You see the toy in its truck mode on the front, and some really cool details. Very, very Christmas looking here. Uh, you got a Christmas tree on the left hand side. You get a little snowman there. You get your Transformers logo, Generations, Taco to Tomy, and uh, VNR, which is a, I found out. Uh, this is actually a licensed Volvo truck, and VNR is just sort of the regional type of truck that they use to haul cargo and things like that. So very, very cool. Uh, I'm, I'm, I used to own a Volvo, so uh, it's, it's kind of cool to have a truck, uh, Volvo sponsored or licensed truck. So that is uh, about it for the front of the box. Now on the top of the box, you do see Holiday Prime in his robot mode. And I just love the fact that you have the wrapping paper. It looks like it's ripped open. You do see the Volvo trademark up there. And also you can, you know, the to and from uh, label there. You can write down who you want to give it to and who it's from. Very, very cool. On the side, you do get uh, same image of that sort of ripped open wrapping paper. And you have the Authentics logo. And I just love the little Autobot logo inside the snowflakes here. Very cool touch. You do see that picture of the um, Christmas tree wrapped around there. On the other side, you do you get a more up close picture of Holiday Optimus Prime. And again, looks like it's, the paper's being ripped. It does actually look really real. I almost thought the box was ripped there, but that is just the, uh, the design there. So very, very cool. Now on the bottom, you have your product information. And on the back is where we see our product shots. So there is Holiday Optimus Prime in his robot mode. And he does come with the Matrix of Leadership done in green, which is very cool. And there you see Holiday Prime in his vehicle mode, in the truck mode. And he does come with the trailer there that opens up. And also it does have some uh, little blurb about the Volvo trademark there. So he is an official licensed product. So very, very cool. So without further ado, let's get Holiday Optimus Prime opened up. See what he's all about. Okay, so here I have Holiday Optimus Prime out of the packaging. Let's take a quick look at the accessories he comes with. He does come with two. I'm going to count the trailer as being an accessory. So that is one. And the other is his blaster here, which is done in a white plastic. And you have a little bit of a candy cane motif there going with the red paint over the top. And some red and white stripes looking very cool. Unfortunately, there's a little bit of a paint mishap on mine, but not a big deal. So that is basically what the blaster looks like. And this is basically the same thing as we saw in the Earthrise Prime. Um, it folds up like so. So... It is basically the same blaster, just done in a different color. And there is storage under the, let's just take the trailer off. There is storage underneath. If you want to store this in the trailer, in the vehicle mode, you can just plug it in like so and have that under there. But for now, we'll just take that off and put it off to the side. And we're going to put Prime's cab off to the side. Let's take a quick look at the trailer now. This is almost the exact same trailer that we did see with the Earthrise Optimus Prime. But again, a very nice detail, some very nice winter detail. You get some nice uh, red paint there and almost some snowy effects there. Very cool. It looks like the snow is kind of uh, coming down on the side of the trailer. You get some really nice silver painted wheels there. Very nice. On the back, it's all just done in a white plastic. For the most part, it is just done in white. And very, very cool logo here of the Autobot logo with the Santa hat and some nice silver paint there. Really like that touch. Very nice. And on the top, it's pretty much... Pretty much it. Now the only thing that's different than this trailer, um, with this trailer actually, is the hitch. And uh, unfortunately, this sometimes this part comes off, but it just plugs back in like that. So I think they had to move. Um, oh, sorry, it goes on like yeah, like this. This goes over there. Sometimes this comes apart, but it does come on and off. So, anyways, um, they had to move the trailer hitch back a little bit for this uh, cab because this is definitely not the same mold as we saw with the Earthrise mold. So, basically, the uh, hitch is a little bit farther back. And if we can just get that in there, you see it does sit a little bit farther back uh, on the truck mold. So, bringing in uh, Earthrise Prime here, um, you can't use the same trailer with Earthrise. Earth Rise Prime. Um, it just actually, if you take this piece off, you can take that piece off, and then it just acts as the old trailer that we saw with the Earth Rise. So you can you can uh, go back and forth. So basically, this fits uh, without the Earth without this fits for the Earth Rise, and then this little adapter here basically is all it is is another thing that goes over that to allow you to use the hitch for the uh, Holiday Optimus Prime. So that is how that looks like that. So doing a quick comparison of the Holiday Optimus Prime and the Earthrise Optimus Prime, you can see that they are very different in their molds. And uh, as far as lengthwise, let's see, they're about... Uh, Holiday Optimus Prime is a little bit taller 
Um, he's got a, a longer cab for sure. But uh, yeah, you can just see a quick comparison there between the two. So taking away Earthrise, Optimus Prime, and I'm just gonna show you real quick the inside of the trailer. So again, this thing just pops open. And like we've all seen before, it's super white. Uh, again, this part can come off and be used as his shield. Again, you get the same, you see the same molded detail as we saw with the Earthrise trailer. And um, yeah, wow, this is <laughs> it's so white. Um, it, it's really nice. It, it's it's very very bright. Um, but it would have been nice if they just I don't know some sort of detail. Uh, I think maybe some brushwork, some some light paint, or even just some red white striping or something going on. I think the the trailer looks a little bit boring. Um, but you know, I'm not going to go into detail here because we've all seen this trailer before. You get the little repair bay and stuff there. So anyways, let's just fold that up and let's get on to the main event, which is Holiday Optimus Prime. So let's take a look at this guy's details. First and foremost, let's take a look at the wheels. You get some nice silver paint on the wheels. Again, a little bit of a, a, a paint mishap there, but not a big deal. So yeah, some really nice painted rims and the back rims and the front rims are a little bit different. You do have pins on the back wheels with no pins on the front. And just a really nice paint job here. Some nice red, some really nice silver for the smokestacks here. Some nice detail there. I love the, the green translucent plastic on the windows and the windshield. Taking a look at the front. Now mine is split. There's a little bit of a gap there. I'm thinking it's maybe not transformed right or something, unfortunately. A little bit of a gap, a little bit gappy there. Not a big deal, but... Um, anyways, you do see the Volvo logo, very small on the front of the grill. You just get some nice silver detail, some nice paint for the grill and the front uh, fender there, and a little bit of yellow paint for the headlights. And again, that translucent green goes down here on the front, a very nice touch. I really like this, um, I really like this cab a lot. It's looking very, very cool. And on the top, you get some nice molded detail there. And we do just have the one smokestack, and you see Happy Holidays written across there so yeah very very cool i really like this truck mode and on the back you do see the back window which is very rare we rarely see a back window on a uh truck cab so very very cool you also get some really nice molded detail on the back of the cab there so yeah all in all a very nice uh very nice truck mode and again some really nice detail even throughout the back of the cab there so that's how he looks on the bottom you do see a little bit of robot kibble happy holidays from optimus prime there he is Anyways, yeah, let's pause and let's get this guy transformed, see what his robot mode looks like. All right, so here we have Holiday Optimus Prime all transformed into his robot mode and a very new conversion as we've never seen this mode before. So very, very interesting transformation. Gets a little bit tricky here and there, but uh, here he is in his robot form. So let's take a look at his details. First and foremost, let's get up close on that head sculpt. A very, very cool head sculpt. You get that nice blue metallic paint, some very nice molded detail there. You get some nice silver on the top of the crest and some white for the mask. And unfortunately you get a little bit of a blemish there, but not a big deal. And this guy does have light piping. Let's see if I can get my handy dandy flashlight here. And there you go. You get some nice light piping with that green translucent plastic. Very, very cool, glowing green eyes. So anyways, going down on the figure, you get some nice paint, yellow paint for the lights here. A white stripe down the middle. You do see me see some more of that uh, green translucent plastic on the front. Uh, now his chest does open up to reveal the matrix of leadership and this is all green clear plastic inside there and the matrix does come out and again let's just put him down there. It does uh, see if I can get the detail on there. This is some nice uh, basically some green uh, plastic that's been painted there. So some nice detail on the matrix. So that just pops back in his chest like so. And that just goes back like that. Going down the arms, you have the low, uh, Autobot logo on the left arm. You get some nice yellow detail as we've seen in previous Prime releases. You get some nice white for the abs there. And nice paint, uh, kind of a, a faux belt buckle there on the waist. Very cool, some nice black paint and yellow paint there. Uh, unfortunately, again, some blemishes on the figure itself. Uh, I'm not really sure what that is, but a little bit unfortunate. Going down the legs, basically it's the truck mode. Um, it is some nice matte finish on the shins here and the feet. And I think the only thing about this figure, um, not the only thing, but there's a couple different things, but the fact that the truck legs, just it's a little bit unsightly. I think it's a little bit bulky looking from the back. From the front, it looks pretty good. From the front, uh, it doesn't look bad, but you know, once you get them on the side, you do see those truck legs kind of hanging out. Um, but yeah, for the most part, he is 
looking pretty cool. So just a quick comparison between him and Earthrise Optimus Prime. There they are side by side for a quick comparison. So they are about the same height. I think Earthrise looks a little bit taller. Um, this guy stands a little bit funky. And let's pause and actually I'm gonna get into articulation. Okay, articulation for a holiday Optimus Prime is as follows. His head is on a swivel joint, which you can do the full 360. You get a little up and down movement, tiny little bit of side to side, so not bad. His shoulders can go the full 360, go around the full 360, and they are on a hinge uh, with a pin right there. And you have a bicep swivel there. You get about 90 degrees at the elbow and nice uh, wrist rotation there, which is very cool. Always welcome the wrist rotation. So very standard for uh, the arms. Now he does have a waist rotation. Um, it does get hindered a little bit by the backpack there, but for the most part, it's pretty pretty uh, easy going there. And he can do the full splits there, like that. And he can kick, he can kick back that much. He can kick forward quite a bit. And he does have a knee bend about 90 degrees. Um, now just be careful when you bend his knees, um, this part is supposed to be locked in. There's a little bit of a, a pin right there that locks into the knee there. So when you move his knee, you're gonna move it on this joint here. Um, don't move this piece because that'll kind of mistransform everything. So anyways, there is um, nice movement on the knee there and there's a uh, 360 at the upper thigh there. And at the because of transformation, there is a little bit of uh, toe pivot there and there is the ankle rocker joint. So very articulated, but what I was saying is um, this guy's just a little bit funky to stand. Um, he just doesn't seem to, to hold a pose. I think it's because um, on, let me just get his arms out of the way. There is a little bit of an ab crunch because of transformation. So this is sometimes gets a little bit loose there, but uh, I, I find that I, I can't really get him to kind of stand up straight. Um, so just a little bit, a uh, little bit funky here, but nothing too bad. So anyways, let's arm him up with his candy cane blaster. Whoa, that comes apart <laughs> if you're not careful. So yeah, please be careful. Candy cane blaster. So anyways, let's get him armed up. Candy cane blaster and let's give him my final thoughts. Okay, so for some final thoughts for Holiday Optimus Prime. This is a very cool display piece for the holidays. I can see myself breaking this out at Christmas time and just kind of displaying him maybe around the Christmas tree. And uh, the fact that he has that Santa outfit on, you know, the, the red and the belt buckle and the, um, it would have been cool if they included like a little Santa hat with him. Maybe I'll, I'll try and find something to put on. But uh, yeah, a very, a very cool prime. And the fact that we get a new mold out of it and uh, licensed by Volvo, it's a win-win. So very, very cool. Uh, a very nice display piece, cool deco. Um, the accessories are, you know, we've seen before, the trailer is like whatever, but um, I, I really do love the candy cane blaster and I think the paint on this is really amazing. And that green translucent plastic just really makes it pop. And the fact you get some light piping and a lot of good features and the new mold as well to boot. This is now, this is definitely a pre-tool. I'm sure we're gonna see this mold again in the future. So uh, yeah, we'll keep our eyes out for the retool of Holiday Optimus Prime. But anyways, this has been Man in Japan. Thanks for watching. This is the review for Transformers, Holiday Optimus Prime, Santa Claus, Santa Prime, whatever you want to call them. Thanks for watching. Please like, comment, and subscribe. Have a great day and Merry Christmas to all. Happy holidays, guys. Till all are one, take it easy. Peace.